The next area of WordPress that you'll want to be familiar with is the media library. So of course we are going to go to the main menu and click media. And as you can see, because this is a brand new site, it says no media items found. Now, when we do have media, this is where we're going to find all of our photos, videos, audio, even PDF attachments that we've uploaded to our website. Now, to give you an example, I am going to go ahead and upload an image. To do that, you can either just drag an image in from your computer or you can hit add new and select the files here. I am just going to drag an image straight in. And you can see it is uploading there. And once it's finished, you can see the image will appear in what you can imagine would be a grid if we had more images. Um, so I'll go ahead and open this image. So you've got the image itself over here. Then you've got all this information here. So you've got the basic file information on the top, when it was uploaded, who it was uploaded by, uh, the file name, the file type, file size, and dimensions. And then you can add some alternative text for screen readers and SEO purposes. Uh, you can edit the title, caption, description, and then you can view the actual URL to the original file. You can also edit the image. There are a few different things you can do here. You can crop it, you can rotate it, flip it vertically or horizontally, and you can actually scale it down maintaining its current aspect ratio. So as you can see, lots of options there for managing your media. And by the way, you don't have to upload media directly to the media library for it to show up here. And in fact, to give you an example, if I just go over to the Hello World post here, insert an image, drag in an image file, and update the post, we can then go back to the media library, refresh it, and you'll see that that image is now showing up there. And it shows that it was uploaded to the Hello World post. So all of your media gets consolidated to this one easy interface, and then you can access these files and reuse them across multiple posts and multiple pages so you don't have to upload the same file multiple times. By the way, you can also filter your media items by type or by date, and you can view them in a list or in a grid. So that is the WordPress Media Library.